What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Alex Eubank here at the Elysium Warehouse Gym. Uh, we bought a bunch of stuff the last few days. If you have not went and watched the last YouTube video, we went over a little bit of the pricing, uh, but it's the start of the new year, January 1st today. So I bought a bunch of stuff um, as like a business write off for the last year that is gonna be for the Elysium Gym. Um, so we're gonna help start building some of the stuff right now. We got the dumbbell racks and all the dumbbells I believe we're gonna put in today. Uh, I put an order in on a bunch of hammer strength machines and I also put an order in on all the used stuff at Exile. I think we're gonna have near 20, 18 to 20 machines I believe to start off the, the gym with, with dumbbells up to 100. I'm waiting to hear back from a different company if we're gonna be able to use them for um, like power racks and stuff. So this is the place. I'll show you guys around a little bit. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like the video right now. Make sure you guys turn the bell notification on so you guys are always up to date. I'm gonna upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So now that I have the wider angle lens, it's easier for you guys to see it a little bit better. So this is the entire building where it's gonna be split into the warehouse slash the gym. It goes all the way back there, if you can see. It's pretty wide. And then we also have a three car garage that is pretty deep that it is uh, add on on top of this. This whole property is around 2.6 acres. Um, and there's a lot of wooded area in it that we can, you know, use. I think we're gonna use that for like, I wanna build like a paintballing airsoft course back there um, and some ATV trails, cause I have a, I have a four wheeler. So that'd be a lot of fun. So this is how wide it is. So it's pretty big. Uh, I'll show you guys, we already kind of did a video on this. I just wanna recap it real quick if you haven't seen it. Did you drink last night? No. You sure? Okay. On your mom? Huh? I don't do that anymore. <laughs> on your mom? I don't do that anymore, bro. Yeah? Pretty big. How much square feet do you think this is? Real quick, for those of you who do not know, there's a whole nother side to the warehouse, so it's twice as big as this room. So, um, yeah, I got the first few machines in it. We got that from like a third party guy. Um, so next step for the gym is I have to, we have to go paint the walls black. We're going to paint the walls black, the roof black, and then I'm going to pop up a picture on the screen. I really want to get these honeycomb, um, like led lights for the roof. So to be all black with the honeycomb roof would be absolutely like, and so aesthetic. Um, next up after we get the walls painted, we put the flooring in and put the lights in and then we can start moving the equipment in, building the equipment. We're gonna go to the gym right now. I'm gonna go train some chest, um, chest and shoulders probably. Uh, so I'll see you guys when we get to Gold's. We are at Gold's gym. Have not trained here in a minute. Um, currently getting leaner. Uh, I know everybody was like, yo, Alex, but I said I was gonna bulk, but I said I was. I think we did three or four months in a surplus. I got a lot of myself to get a little fat, feeling a lot better, um, but for, to me, I was like thinking like for my goal, I'm gonna talk about this later probably in this video, but 2023, I want to be an amazing year for me, which is going to involve a lot of traveling, a lot of content. I got to be, have to look shredded. I have to look shredded. So um, usually content for me is really fun around March, April, May is when we're gonna be traveling a lot. So I just started like the cut now, I'm gonna go slow, ease into it, doing 20, 30 minutes of cardio every single morning fasted, um, eating probably around 2,600 calories. But yeah, so I'm gonna hit, I think like a push day today. Um, Pretty much, that's it, yeah. Probably give you guys some chest tips. I'm gonna start with pre-exhaustioning. Like I always do some cable flies just to warm up a little bit. Working on my rotator cuff as well. I just spent like two, three sets working purely on my rotator cuff um, just to try to help that labrum that's been nagging me lately. So make sure you guys work your stabilizer. And you have to first be uncomfortable with how you feel about yourself. With that voice that a lot of us like to run away from, we all have it. We all have that voice that say, hey man, you know, you're, you're kind of wimping out right now. You're kind of being a little punk right now. But a lot of us say, okay, that's okay. It's okay to tell these little white lies to ourselves. So we first have to face the real you. The real me is David Goggins. The real me is a guy looking at you right now saying, I don't want to fucking be on this show right now because I used to stutter as a kid. And I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid that here in a second, I'm going to start fucking stammering and stuttering. And the whole world is going to know that I have all these issues. But that's when I see right now, okay, Goggins, you got to go on this fucking show. That's God. 
Goggins is saying, okay, David Goggins, you're a punk. Life made you this way. We can't live like this. We can't live in fear. We can't live in judgment. We can't be afraid of what the fuck people right now are looking at me saying about me. We cannot be afraid of that. That's Goggins. Goggins saying, fuck all of you who don't like me, who don't want it. And that person then comes in. But you have to be David Goggins and say, man, I'm afraid of this. Here, life made me this way. Here, I stutter. I, I have these issues with, 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 with reading and writing. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm fat and I'm insecure. No one's gonna fucking come help me. It's fucking me against me, period. This is a race that you run completely alone. You can build that total accountability in oneself. And it's not about being selfish. I'm trying to create a better me. So hopefully people who are hearing this are taking it the right way can say, I can run a mile. It ain't about running 205 fucking miles, doing fourth arc, being a city. It ain't about all that shit. Shit doesn't matter. I want you to see how fucking far you can go because we're all fucking suffering in this world. We're all hurting. And I try to take away all titles you want to give me and let you know that I did not come from that shit. That's why I have to be so authentic and so real about my own insecurities, my own faults, my just being a fucked up person. I'm, I'm, I'm not the best at anything. I'm not, I'm not gifted. I'm just driven. So, oh, they have machines that we got, so we got four of these at, the, at our uh, gym. We got this one, we bought this one, we bought the shoulder one, we bought the chest one here. We got this high row. This row's pretty fire too. All right, so before we get into the main part of this video, I promise you the ending is worth it. I have an entire, if you watched this whole video, I guarantee you, you will go about your life differently in 2023. Definitely watch through this. I'm going to show real quick a recap of 2022, my highlights, my best moments. Um, and this is just, I hope this can motivate you in some way, bro. Two years ago, three years ago, whatever, I had nothing. I had no ambition in life. I didn't know what I was doing. All I did was play video games and go to the gym. And then just in a short amount of time, when I set my focus on the right things, look what happened in my life.
What is going on guys? I'm um, back at the crib. It is uh, midnight currently as I'm going to film this. Got a new setup. This is going to be like my new, not streaming setup. This is more for like editing. Um, I'm going to get a lot more stuff done in the back. I have a desk coming in all that. Just like could be a place where I can like grind and have like a studio to film stuff like this. Um, but yeah, so we're going into the new year 2023. Um, as you guys saw in that previous clip, I don't know if I'm going to roll it yet or not. Um, I have an entire montage that we made um, of my favorite moments from 2022. If you watched through that whole thing, I really appreciate you. And thank you for being along with me with this whole ride on social media. It's been absolutely insane. But as a influencer and having a very large following, especially a younger generation, it's my job to inspire and to motivate and to advise as we go into this new year and the things that I think are crucial for you to know that I know that so many people don't do or don't know if you want to take control, take back control of your life and, and to, to get where you want to be. Um, and that sounds like stupid and just like bland, but like, bro, like I, I wish more people would wake up. And like, there's just so many people who are just like drifting through society, just like, and they're never going to hit their potential and that, and I'm not even that person, but I like genuinely, it triggers me to seeing that I hate seeing waste of potential and just like people who are extremely lazy saying they'll do it next year and then next year. And then they end up getting nowhere in life. It's just like terrible. And for me, like I, I've came from a, um, my like my story in this whole world has been like absolutely insane like 2020 dropped out of school had barely any money in my bank account i was making literally 200 dollars a week um and again money's not all of it it's not that's not all of it at all but i was miserable like just hopping from relationship to relationship it was just a terrible way to live depressed it was just like it sucked and then to be where i am now um it, it, it's just it literally in such a short period of time just like two three years is is baffling to me it is you cannot make it up i had i looked on um i think november 2020 i had i hit 10k on instagram and we're we're closing in on 1.7 million right now um or of organic growth which is insane to me um and again if you're not trying to become successful in the social media world that's okay this advice will apply literally to anybody i had a whiteboard in 2020 and this this goes for any industry Set a, set a long-term goal for the year. So I had like supplement sponsor, clothing sponsor, hit X amount of followers on TikTok, Instagram, whatever. Um, but the thing is a lot of people will see those long-term goals and they'll evaluate their progress, you know, halfway through the year. And, and if they feel like they're not getting close to it yet, they'll get really down on themselves. Next thing you know, you're, you're not gonna, you're gonna, you just stop and you give up. So the biggest thing is to not get too focused on that long-term goal. Um, and is to set very short-term goals that are going to help lead you to that long-term goal so you never end up thinking about that long-term goal, if that makes sense. Let me explain. So in my industry, social media, what I had was post three TikToks a day, go live on Instagram once a day, um, edit or upload a YouTube video today, and I would have a checkbox and I have to check all of them out. And what I believe, and this is this literally worked for me, is if I do each one of these things every single day to my best ability, over time, I'm going to hit these long-term goals. So that, that would just help my mind because I get so caught up in the long-term like game of things and I get overwhelmed and it ends up messing me up in the short term versus when I see that list, what can I do today that is going to lead me to that? That's just so much easier for my body to, and my brain to process because that's what I genuinely do have control over in this moment here and now versus, you know, what's wise ahead, you know what I mean? So for these goals, like let's say you're trying to get into wholesaling real estate, right? You and you have a long-term goal, you want to make X amount of money in a year from wholesaling real estate. Now your daily goal should be maybe finish a or purchase a whole wholesaling real estate course and complete you know study two hours of it check. Um, next thing is make you know I think it works like you, you have like leads or calls like make like twenty uh, calls today trying to find leads to find like wholesale deals check. Um, and as long as you do those things every day you're gonna eventually get closer and closer to that long term goal. Drop shipping same thing. Buy a course study two hours of it each and every day check. Um, drop or uh, next thing, research products for two hours of what to do for dropshipping check. So it's like that way for me, that goes for any industry, honestly. And again, as long as you apply yourself um, and you, you do the research, find the knowledge, but knowledge doesn't mean anything unless you apply it. So you have to apply the knowledge that you learn. Um, and the biggest teacher you will learn in life is going to be failure. So you have to do the things, fail at it in order to learn and see what works. People come up to me all the time like, Alex, like, how do I start social media? How do I make money as a coach, whatever it is? You, there's no secret recipe just to start and doing it. The best thing you can do is just start it. And then the failures that you make is going to be the best and the biggest teacher that is going to make you so much more successful in life. So do not be, be afraid to fail in any situation. You need to fail. And that's what makes winners. That's a big thing you need to understand. Another thing I talked about this in a podcast is your best life. 
like the way I would explain this, like where you want to be in life is on the other end of a tunnel, like a train tunnel, right? And you're going through that tunnel. And a lot of times when these when these curveballs get thrown your way, um, that, that tunnel starts to almost look like it's closing. And that light that you once saw at the end of the tunnel starts getting clouded and you can't see it anymore. But you got to understand that 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 thing at the end of the tunnel is still there. It's just harder to see in those moments when you're going through those hard times in life. You got to understand that because when everything's good, fine and dandy, like for me, when my engagement's up, everything's doing really, really good. That's that end of that tunnel light. It's so bright and I can see it so clearly, but then let's say I have bad engagement or my stuff's not doing that good for a month or two. It gets so clouded and I end up being like, oh, I'm not going to hit it. I don't see it anymore, but it's still there. It's all about your perception um, and understanding that concept. I know Seth Faro, I think Faro, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, used this analogy of like a jungle. Um, like the other side of that jungle being like all the things that he wants in life. And he's got to go through that jungle in order to get it. Um, so you got to understand, that's like a good way to think about it. <sighs> Next thing is going to be comparison. This day and age of social media, the amount of people who compare is baffling to me. I've been a victim of it. I've done it plenty of times, especially when I started social media. I look at another person, like how come they are growing and doing so much better than me? I feel like I deserve it more. That is a terrible way to think. That is all excuses. You have to understand and, and what that will do is that'll make you want to kind of be like that person. So next thing you know, you're being disingenuous because you're trying to copy what somebody else is doing because it worked for them, but you're not being your own person. You got to understand no one can be a better Alex Eubank than Alex Eubank. No one can be a better you than you. Understand that. Never try to be just like somebody else. Be your own best person. It's good to take inspiration and all that good stuff. Highly agree with that. But when you're trying to mimic somebody else's stuff to get to where they are in life, you, you will never get the success that they got. You got to stay in your own lane. Um, comparison. All right, a lot of us are guilty of that. You look at somebody else's physique, you look at somebody else's monetary status in life, their girlfriend, their relationships, and, you, and you, you say that you want it, and it ends up building this envy and this jealousy that's within you, and it literally, that does not help one bit. Like, yeah, like we all are, are, are um, a victim of, of this stuff, but you gotta understand, understand that those emotions are going to do nothing to help you get to that point. You gotta realize that. You gotta have the self-awareness to realize these toxic behaviors and emotions, and to be able to put it aside and to focus on the task at hand and do those short-term goals every single day. Even though you see your best friend having the best relationship, he's making a ton of money. Make your short-term goals list. Do it the best that you can do. And over time, just, just understand that. Just stay in that lane. You know what I mean? Don't stay focused on somebody else's life because it's just going to take distraction away from your own purpose. And the biggest thing I see too is these, the amount of, ex of excuses in any industry. For mine, I'm just saying because I'm in the fitness industry. I've seen this a lot. People say, oh, the algorithm hates me. The algorithm just doesn't like me anymore. That's why I'm not growing. Excuses, bro. People people love excuses because it makes you feel better about yourself. And what you got to realize is like, no, the algorithm is not, not messing with you. It's because you're not posting good enough content or you're not learning the algorithm. There's plenty of times where I have dips in my algorithm and I'm like, yo, like it, it's not... And what I, what I do to get around that, I don't make excuses saying like, oh, the algorithm like isn't liking me. It's probably like, the algorithm probably changed. Let me see what I have to do to, in order to make it hit again. So uh, I'll like test it out, maybe trying different reels, different posts, maybe different things that could cause uh, more attention time to um, figure out why videos or, or pictures aren't doing as good and ways to make them better. That's the way you got to think about it. You don't just make excuses. You find a solution around it. <sighs> One of the most important ones, all right, listen up real quick, is surround yourself with the right people. Show me your friends and I will show you your future is the most factual thing I've ever heard in my life. It even talks about in the Bible. Let me find the verse real quick. Uh, 2 Corinthians 6, 14, 18. Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. That's like another, that's just like an idea if you're like a Christian, it's like a thing, but it, it applies in all aspects of life. If you are surrounding yourself with people who are doing a lot of drugs, um, partying, drinking, doing all these things, you are 99% of the time going to become just like them. If you surround yourself with investors, with people who are trying to break out of out of this zone of like the nine to five, or people who are actually trying to learn more, being into real estate, drop shipping, social media, whatever, and they're, and they're being good at it, you are most likely going to follow in that similar path because you're associating yourself with them and you're around them a lot. So understand that. If you're having toxic friends who are exhibiting behaviors that you know are not going to make you into your best self, You've sometimes got to just cut it, bro. You got to cut the top. I've done that plenty of times in my life. And I've been, I've been extremely lonely because of that, but I'm so happy that I did it because it led me to the person that I am today. And I'm so much more independent and just better off by cutting off the toxic and the, and the people who, and the, I'm, I'm trying to say this in the most, in the most um, humble way, cause I don't like having pride, but it, they're not, cause like, I'm not trying to say they're less than you. Um, it's just that you, you got to realize that you want to hit your highest potential and they might not want to hit their highest potential, but if you want to hit yours, you got to, you got to do some different things. So you got to do that. 
Another big one, stop being a drifter. All right, read Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill, one of my favorite books. Uh, I listened to the audiobook of it when I was doing it on a long drive and I was like, wow, this is exactly how I've thought my entire life. Um, biggest scenario I can remember for this is I was going through a college town late one night on a weekend, just seeing all these drunk kids like walking around, like people like making out on the on the side of the street. And it's just like, it's so just nasty and dirty. All these, these bars crowded to the brim. I'm like, how do you guys enjoy this, bro? I'm like, how is this even fun to you? And like, cause, and what I hate about it is cause like, it's such a waste of time. Like you're experiencing this short pleasure for a few minutes, a few hours and whatnot. That's going to set you back of where you want to go in life years. You know what I mean? If you just took the time. I'm not saying like cut all that out. It's good to have fun or whatever in moderation. I'm hundred percent for that. But a lot of these people are slaves to this stuff and they're drifters. They're drifters in society, meaning that this stuff has a hold of them. They are a slave to it. And that will always limit them from reaching their best potential and their best self, um, which is completely fact. So say, for example, you're addicted to um, drugs or you're addicted to pornography or you're addicted to um, drinking and stuff like that or hookups. It, the time you spend doing that stuff is not going to help you hit your wholesaling, your drop shipping, your social media goal. It's just taking time away from it. It's pulling away from it. You can't do everything 100% at once. You got to do one thing really good. You can do five things shitty. So you got to pick one. You got to figure out what's more important to you in this life. Like if you're in college and like, oh, I want the college experience. I'll do it in a few years. The people who are not doing it, who are your same age, who are saying, hey, I'll put this off now so I can experience my best self and get there quicker, they're going to be years ahead of you, all right? And you might, it might, you might be slack and it might be too soon, it might be too late by the time you, you actually say like, okay, now I'm ready to do it. So you got to understand like, pick what's more important now. Do you see yourself partying, drinking, doing all this toxic, stupid stuff for the rest of your life, being an NPC? Or do you see yourself becoming your best self, the best person that God, the, the biggest pur purpose that God has given you and fulfilling that purpose that God has for you? Or do you, self, do you see yourself being a drifter and just going through society doing stupid shit that's going to satisfy you for a few hours just to sleep in the next day, live miserably, have, be, have no fulfillment whatsoever and repeat the same thing every single day until you die? That's such a shitty way to live. Um... I just can't, I don't know if that's just me. I know it's a lot of people think similar to me, but I know a lot of y'all might be like, yo, what are you even talking about? If you, if you don't understand, it just isn't clicking, then you're one of the people that I'm talking about are like the drifters or the NPCs. And I'm not, I don't mean that in a mean way. It's okay because the people who are going to like rise above that are going to be the ones who take advantage of the NPCs. So I'm using the word NPCs, not player. I just, I talk, I say that a lot, like bots, NPCs, people, drifters. Okay. People who are not trying to experience their best self, those who are, you will become your best self because low key you'll end up taking advantage of those people who are being lazy, if that makes sense. Whether, let's say, you're like a businessman, right? Um, you end up running a very successful business, you're gonna need the NPCs below you working for you in order for you to run that successful business. So you don't wanna be the business owner or do you wanna be the worker working the miserable nine to five for the rest of your life until you're 60, 60 years old that you can pull out your IRA fund or whatever it is um, like tax free or whatever and get your money. And then after you're six years old, when you can barely like lift or walk or move or whatever, then you can start going on vacations, buying your dream car at 60 years old. Or you could take a few years of sacrifice now, build up your life right now. All right. You can experience that at 22, 23, 24, 25. You could spend years right now, like just a few years doing something that you think that you could be successful in. And even if you completely fail at it, you're still most likely going to be more ahead than those who went to like college and then right, went right to a nine to five job right out of it. Most likely, most of the time, I would say. Um, but yeah, this video is getting already pretty long, but I'm spitting right now. It's it's 1 a.m. in the morning. I'm spitting, bro. I know I'm spitting right now. So yeah, I, I don't want to make this video too long. It's probably gonna be pretty damn long. And I hope you guys took some value away from it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Comment, comment your favorite motivational quote so that hopefully somebody sees and that motivates them to be an absolute beast this year in 2023, okay? I want to see more people reach their best self and to break people call it the matrix, whatever to, to become your best version of yourself. I want to see more people do that. And I know we'll have a very young audience and a lot of you guys are slaves to this dumb shit. That's going to not fulfill you at all, but you think it is, you think it's cool. You think it's cool. Like you're part of the cool kids and like, it's fun. It's so stupid, bro. I don't talk to it, it, all the kids in school who are like popular and cool. I don't talk to none of them, bro. I do the coolest shit for a living and I absolutely love it. And like, I, I didn't miss out on nothing, but I can say confidently, I didn't miss out on nothing. I'm so happy that it, I, I don't know if I'm the only one that thinks like that, but there's so many of you who can do the same stuff and be the same like place that I'm at one day. If you just take charge of your life and stop making excuses and, oh man, dude, it's just like, cause there's so much potential out there, bro. I just want to see it used. Um, yeah, yeah, that was a rant goals for me. 
All right, this is, these are my goals for 2023. So I can come back to this video. I wanna hit a million subscribers, a milli on YouTube. I wanna hit two milli, two million on Instagram. TikTok, I, don't, I mean, you know, TikTok's TikTok. If we hit more, YouTube and Instagram is more, is more important to me right now. I would love to hit our gaming channel to hit like 50K or something if we keep staying consistent on that. The podcast YouTube channel, we gotta hit 100K this year on the podcast. I'm going crazy. Elysium. Seven figure. I don't know if that like if I'm allowed to say that it should be. Elysium, I basically want to make it into a like a million dollar business, basically. I'm um um if that makes sense. I want to make it up to par one day with like raw gear, young LA. And this year is gonna be crucial in scaling it. So if you guys want to support me on that, Elysium Athletic, we just got our warehouse I showed earlier in this video. Uh, moving the gym into it is going to be insane. Hopefully it'll be officially done by end of January, February, and I can start going crazy with that. All right, I want, I want to make that business huge. I'm going to remember this video right now. I'm 22 years old, okay? My name is Alex Eubank, and I'm going to blow up this business. I'm going to keep blowing up on social media, God willing. Again, I ask all these things if God wills it. If God does not will it at the end of the day, I have to submit to that because it's God's will over my own will. Always remember that in life. If, if God's purpose or plan is not what you think it is in life or it's not what you wanted, you got to learn to submit to that, bro. Just pray for God to give you the joy and the peace to be okay with that. And, and for him to give you the fulfillment and whatever purpose that he has for you, even if it isn't what you think it is. All right. Always remember that. So again, I want all these things and ask God to bless it and to give it to me. But again, it's his will over my own. I always submit to him at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, those are pretty much my goals. Um, yeah, that, I mean, it'd be nice like next December to be by freaking my manager, my mom, like everybody Rolexes or something. I don't know. Um, build my dream house. We got that going this year. Um, that's pretty much it. Again, hey, if you guys want to support me again, code Alex for a discount on Raw Gear, Alpha Line, Flex Pro, and Celsius. Um, ElysiumAthletic.com, link in my bio, links for the podcast, Twitch. I'm on all socials now. I'm on Facebook. I'm on all that. All right, we're going to kill it this year. I'm extremely motivated. Um, yeah, God bless everybody. Until next time, peace out.